Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine if two logical statements are equivalent, and also De Morgan's laws of logic. So two statements are logically equivalent, which is denoted with basically an equal sign, but with three bars instead of two, if they have the same truth value for every possible situation. So here I have two truth tables. In the truth table on the left, we are analyzing the statement not P or not Q. In the truth table on the right, we're analyzing the statement negation of P and Q. We'd like to know if they're logically equivalent, which we'll be able to tell when we get to the last truth value column. So here we go. First, we're gonna negate P, which means take all the opposite truth values that the original statement P had. So we'll have false, false, true, true. And then we're gonna negate Q, and Q has the truth values true, false, true, false, so not Q is false, true, false, true. Then we're going to use the third and fourth columns to get the truth value of negation of P or Q. Now remember, the rule for OR is a disjunction, an OR statement, is only false if both components are false. The only place that happens is in row 1, so all the rest are true. Now let's complete the truth table on the right. So on the right, first complete the AND part of the statement because of the parentheses. So our first column analyzes P and Q. The rule for the conjunction, AND, is that it's only true when both components are true. And the only place that happens is in the first row. So that's true and the rest are false. Now we're going to use column 3 to get column 4. We have to negate the values in column 3 to get the values in column 4, which means just the opposite. So since column 3 had true, false, 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 column 4 has false, true, true, true. And now we compare the last column from the truth table on the left to the last column from the truth table on the right, and you see they have exactly the same truth values. So that tells us that these statements are logically equivalent. Negation of P or negation Q is equivalent to the negation of parentheses P and Q. Now we're going to look at two very similar statements to the ones we just looked at. In the statement on the left, negation P and negation Q, it's similar to negation P or negation Q that we did in the previous slide, but we have an AND instead of an OR. And in the statement on the right, negation of parentheses P or Q, we have a an OR statement instead of the AND statement we had on the previous slide. So how would we determine if these two statements are equivalent? Well, we would need to set up truth tables to determine those values. I have set up a truth table. I'm actually going to combine the truth values from both of these into one table. It is going to require five columns because altogether there are five five connectives to analyze. In the statement on the left, we have two negations and an AND. In the statement on the right, we have a negation and an OR. So let's start with the statement on the left, negation P and negation Q. Once again, we're going to need the negation of P, and then we're going to need the negation of Q, and then we're going to need the whole statement. For the statement on the right, we're going to need P or Q first, because it's in parentheses, and then we're going to need the negation of P or Q. Now the negation of P is the opposite of the values in the first column, the P column. That's going to be false, false, true, true. The negation of Q is the opposite of the values in the Q column the second column, so that's going to be false, true, false, true. An AND statement is only true when both components are true. So using columns 3 and 4, we see that the only place that there are two trues is in the bottom row. So that's going to be true and the rest are going to be false. Now let's analyze P or Q. P or Q requires us to look back to the first two columns where we have P and Q and use the OR connective, which says that a statement is only false if both components are false, which only happens in the fourth row at the bottom. So we have three trues and a false. Now we're going to use the column we just created, and we're going to negate that to get the last column. So the opposite of those truth values would be false, 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 true. Now we're going to compare the values of the statement negation P and negation Q 
to the values of negation of parentheses P or Q, and we see that they're the same. That means they're equivalent statements. They're logically equivalent. So the answer to the question, are the following two statements equivalent, is yes, they are. So the two types of equivalent logical statements that we've just seen are listed here on the screen. They are each one of De Morgan's laws for logic. This is an important concept because it allows us to negate a conjunction by writing it as a disjunction and vice versa. Notice that the negation of the AND statement at the top becomes an OR statement. That's very similar to what we learned in the set theory chapter of our class where we had A intersect B complement. Remember, intersection is an AND statement. A intersect B in parentheses complement is equal to A complement union B complement. Remember, union was an OR statement. And these were De Morgan's laws for sets. So in a way, we're not learning something new, we're just rewriting the set theory De Morgan's laws in logic notation. So let's use De Morgan's laws of logic to find a negation of each of these statements. So the first statement A is I made an A or I made a B. This statement has two components. The first component is I made an A. The second component is I made a B and they're joined with the or statement. So what we're trying to establish is what would be the negation of that situation. So I could just say, well, it's not the case that I made an A or I made a B, but to be more clear, what we're going to do is apply De Morgan's law. De Morgan's law for negating a for negating a disjunction an or statement says a negation of P or Q is equivalent to negation P and negation Q. So if I think of I made an A as, as being the statement P, and I think of I made a B as the statement Q, then we have something of the form P or Q that we're trying to negate. And so we can write the negation as not P and not Q, which would be I didn't make an A and I didn't make a B. Because the negation of P, I made an A, is I didn't make an A, and the negation of Q is the negation of I made a B, which is I didn't make a B. And notice that we have switched it to an AND statement. So the opposite of the scenario that I made an A or I made a B is that I didn't make an A and I didn't make a B. All right, now let's look at the next statement. The statement is she won't try and he will succeed. So again, we have two components. We'll call one P and we'll call one Q. And we're joined with an AND connective. So we're going to use the other De Morgan's law, which says that when you negate a conjunction, you get the disjunction of the negation of each component, not P or not Q. P was she won't try, so the negation will be she will try. And Q was he will succeed, so not Q is he won't succeed. And we're gonna join it with an OR. So we get she will try or he won't succeed. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel for more math videos or follow the link for more videos about logic.